This is your Reverend Bishop Maxwell Glaze, your King James Bible evangelist. I have a question for you. When the time comes, will you be standing at the judgment seat of Christ or the great right throne of judgment? So what you have to understand is that there's two different judgments that will take place. One is the great white throne of judgment reserved for the non-believers. And the judgment seat of Christ was reserved for us, the believers. Let's start with the great white throne of judgment. Revelation chapter 20, starting at verse 11 says, And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and the death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Guess what? And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. If you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, guess what? You will receive eternal damnation. Don't matter how good you think you were on this earth. If you did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, eternal damnation is your destination. Also read Daniel chapter 12, 1 through 3 and John chapter 5, 22 through 29. And now for the good stuff, the judgment seat of Christ. You see, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, starting in verse 11, For other foundation can no man lay that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, hay, wood, and stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it. What day? The judgment seat of Christ. Because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work. Of what sort it is. If any man's work abide. Which he hath built thereupon. He shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned. He shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved yet so as by fire now when it says if any man's work shall be burned he shall suffer loss that just means that he's not going to receive any rewards now as a saved bible believing christian you know that's your ticket into heaven however if you don't do any type of work for the lord then anything else that you've done outside of sin will be burnt up. You gave money to the poor. Um, you helped an old lady across the street. You know, you took care of your parents. All that good stuff will be wood, hay, and stubble. But if you went out and you were so winning, getting people saved, uh, working in your church, uh, preaching the gospel to every creature, then that deserves a reward. Do you see the difference? I encourage each and every one of you to stay in your Bible and read Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Timothy, Daniel, read John, read Revelation, study your Bible, understand what's going on around you, and understand the end times Bible prophecies. And then let me tell you something, those who read it and understand it will be blessed. This is your Reverend Bishop Maxwell Glaze. Think on these things.